welcome to another episode of Thimbo Cooking with me. So today we will be cooking chicken pesto and I don't care if you don't feel like eating it. I don't care if you're not in the mood for it. That's what I'm cooking. Anyway, so as you guys saw in the Daiso haul last time, uh, on the second channel, Saturday Supermodel, I got some cutting boards and they have these weird ones. They're kind of like, they're kind of wobbly. So I figured I'd test it out this time. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to use that cutting board and we're going to use this one. And as you can see, I bought nuts to finally hold my produce. So everything's feeling more organized overall. So far, the chicken has been marinating for about an hour. So I didn't feel like streaming for the amount of time that it had to marinate, so I just kind of did it beforehand. Um, you're just gonna have to figure it out. I don't know what to tell you. So, okay, fine, I'll help you. So basically what you do is you get a bowl, and it depends on how much chicken you're making. So I just did like a full bowl like this. And I have like four chicken tenders in here. So I just did uh, equal parts olive oil and what is it called? Equal parts extra virgin olive oil and then balsamic vinegar. So you do that. And this is the extra virgin olive oil. You add equal parts to it, so it should be the same amount. And then you add something called Italian seasoning. And what's in Italian seasoning is marjoram, whatever that is, sounds like a name, thyme, rosemary, savory sage, not just sage, guys, savory sage, oregano, and basil. So that's all in one. Or you can just individually make your own, I guess. And you add that into the bowl and then you mix it with a whisk and then you marinate the chicken for at least 30 minutes. Mine has been marinating an hour. So that's kind of where we're at right now for the recipe. Um, Petals clearly wants there to be hair in my food. Thank you, Petals. Thank you for the five pounds, Dan Halen. Dan Halen. I, I've, some, I've known him for like six years and I fuck with his name. How embarrassing. Uh, he said, I prefer to use extra slutty olive oil. It's more seasoned. Where do you buy that? Do you, I bet you buy that at, like, Walmart. That's where it sounds like you buy it. Thank you, Toxic Boxes, for becoming a simple sim. Or, sorry, not the rename it. My clients. Thank you, my clients, for supporting the stream. Don't forget to like the stream if you want more cooking segments in the bimbo kitchen. But yeah, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check it out, I did the haul from Daiso, the bimbo haul on my second channel, Saturday Supermodel. It's on the channel page if you wanna find it. All right, so we're at the point where we need to start cooking the chicken. Uh, but before that, we have to add some flour on it so that the chicken doesn't get burnt and you're kind of not taking away from the whole point of marinating it. Uh, some of you would do that, I feel, so I feel like I have to explain that part um, because your little brains couldn't figure out that the whole point of marinating is for it to soak in the juices. So yeah, we're gonna be putting flour on it. So, two choices. I'm going to let you guys choose. We're, we're going to experiment a little bit. So you guys have the choice of panko breadcrumbs. Remember, this is for a chicken pesto sandwich, okay? You can choose either panko breadcrumbs, so they're very crispy and big. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I could use it. It might be a little too much salt, but we'll see. We can use that. Or... We can use tapioca um, flour. Which do you guys think? Because either way, it'll protect the chicken's coating from getting stuck on the pan. But we don't want the marinade to go away. So, this is your choice. Tapioca never fails, panko. 
I cooked this meal once before and I used tapioca flour and it came out really good. So I'm willing to experiment with the panko. I'm feeling the panko. Chat says panko. Okay, cool. $9.99 Super Chat for Monkey Head, 15. Is this a tutorial or a what not to do? This is a tutorial! Why would it be a what not to do? If that were the case, then you would be streaming. Thank you, Glasgow, for becoming a client. We value our clientele. And did I get through all of them? And Spectral Citizen for being a special client for 51 months. Amazing. See, he just keeps coming back for more. That's how you know it's good. Just like my food. We're talking about my food, of course. Um, okay, let's do Ponto. So I don't want to hear it. No, no, no. I don't want to hear it. If I hear anybody's mouth after you guys told me to do this, you guys told me to use the panko. If I hear anything from your mouths about how it came out bad, it's on you. It's not on me. It's on you. It's on you. I'm serious. Okay. Okay, so I don't feel like having breadcrumbs everywhere, though. Maybe I should just use a bowl. I don't know. I could use one of the bowls that I bought. I'm gonna wash it though. Okay, I'm gonna wash it. How do I look on stream? I have no idea because I'm actually using the back camera so that the um oh that's not even that much of a delay. So that the uh, camera looks better. So I can't actually see the camera, but I can see the chat because I have my laptop right here. So I think I'm gonna do it in this one that I got from Dyson. So I have to wash it. So Watch my chicken. Oh, there's two bowls in here. Look at that. chicken. Okay, don't say anything in chat about me watching the tutorial. Does it matter the food comes out the same? Does it really matter if I double check my recipe that I found online from searching how to make chicken pesto sandwich? It doesn't take away from how good of a cook I am, okay? You guys should be ashamed. Well, not me. You're watching me to learn how to cook. You should be ashamed. Like, why don't we have lives cooking for you? Dan Holland, five pound super chat. If you want to buy extra slutty olive oil, check out my OnlyFans. That's disgusting. What's the link? Okay. Oh yeah, full. Wait, over here. Okay. I just wanted to let you guys know I fucking hate touching chicken. I think raw chicken is the most disgusting thing on this planet. Um, I would rather handle someone's balls in my hand than raw chicken. Like, I can't, I can't stand raw chicken. It's so disgusting. You can just, you can see me cringing. You know, this is really messy. I'm going to put my apron on. Okay, I'm going to put my apron on, but you guys better not, like, say it's ugly. Stuck while I'm tying it. Wear gloves? Yeah, but that's just inconvenient. Okay. It's decent. I want a cuter one, but they don't offer that many good colors. Like, I want, like, it has to be the right shade of pink and frilly. But I haven't found one yet. Maybe I'll check out and see. Okay. This feels a little tight on the neck still.
There we go. Um, so we have the chicken. This should be enough for one sandwich just for me. Petals doesn't get any. And I, mean, I feel like I should have a second bowl. I mean, like, I don't want dishes. So I'm just going to pour this out. And yes, I wash my hands a lot because I'm not a dirty bitch like you. By the way, um, I probably should have mentioned this, but I, my bad for assuming you guys have like more than two brain cells. You have to clean your kitchen before you cook. Like, don't cook when your kitchen. And I'm not talking it has to be spotless. I just mean in terms of killing the germs and sanitation. Just like do a quick wipe with alcohol or Lysol or something. Don't be absolutely fucking disgusting. You're already gross as it is. So, I poured some of the vinegar out, and I'm going to take the breadcrumbs and just kind of dump some in there. Because I'm not efficient at cooking. I'm not going to sit here and make 100 dishes. Judge me all you want. You're going to be the one. You know what? If you're going to complain, if you guys have a problem with me doing it this way, how about you wash the dishes? You cook the food, and you wash the dishes. the raw chicken. So I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and breaded. I could have floured it first, but I didn't really feel like it. I don't feel like it's 100% necessary. That's why we're experimenting. I think I should get more bread. What I like to do is I like to sprinkle it on there and then like press on it. Like is that psychotic? And then I flip it and kind of do the same thing. putting a bonding agent there? No, it already has vinegar and olive oil on it. That's enough. I think I have more breadcrumbs. Next click 499 Super Chat. Off topic, what do you think of the of them making Ken a loser in the upcoming Barbie movie? Um, I feel like it's realistic because like, you know, what are the chances you're gonna find like, because Ken's supposed to be hot, right? So a hot guy and he's also rich. Like, it, it's not realistic. So I feel like I kind of appreciate that sense of realism they're putting in the movie. Um, but I also don't like the message they're sending that men aren't walking ATM machines because that's clearly not true. So anyway, we'll have to see. Maybe they like put in the end or something that he ends up getting money and giving it to Barbie so that she can buy her pink mansion or something. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Bonding agent, like I don't need a bonding agent. It's already wet. It's already the chicken's already wet. Like I don't want to flour it. I don't feel like flouring it. I told you guys to pick. If you want me to flour it then you should have told me to flour it. I gave you guys the option. I said, here's the tapioca flour. Tell me to flour if you want me to flour it. And you said, no. You said, no, put the pronko breadcrumbs on it. That's what you guys told me to do. So that's what I'm doing. So I really don't feel like hearing you guys complain. I really don't. I really don't want to hear it. So I'm putting it on medium high, and I'm going to pour some of the olive oil in. As you guys learned from last time, olive oil evaporates very quickly because it has a very low smoke point, so you're going to put more than you think you need. Also, if you buy extra virgin olive oil, it has to be in a green container, or else it gets damaged by the sunlight and expires really quickly. 
just like the shelf life of men's hairlines. So this is how much I put. I just kind of glaze the bottom of the pan. $5 from Arafatis of Stet. Saw your rest video on May Day. Respect. Thank you. Are you saying respect for respecting my heritage or for getting arrested? I don't know what you mean by that. But anyway, thanks. So I'm waiting for the olive oil to heat up. I'm just dumping the whole thing in there because I feel like it. I kind of feel like a child playing with Play-Doh. Yeah, that was actually a good call to put more breadcrumbs. Now I feel like it's more breadcrumby. Like, you see what I mean? Like, there's more on the chicken. That's really an easy bake oven. No, I, you know, I never got a Barbie oven as a kid, and I feel like that really mentally damaged me and why I'm who I am today. So, learn from my mom's mistakes and buy your daughter an easy bake pink oven so I don't have to figure it out later in life. Dan Holland three pounds. Did you cut the apron out of grandma's curtains? You know what? Why don't you buy me a new apron then? If you don't like my apron, buy me a new apron then. Jimmy Freckles 1999 Super Chat. One love at the haters. Thank you, Jimmy. Someone appreciates me in this house. Okay, I hear it sizzling. That means it's almost hot enough. I know, they're not pink. I, I also am disgusted at that. <sighs> Blame Daiso. I got these from Daiso recently. This is meow on it, though, so that kind of helps. That kind of counters the cringe of it not being pink. This is meow. Petals is watching me. She's literally watching me, like, on the other side of the counter, like it's a cooking show. It's so funny. She's my audience member. It's so cute. Okay, I think it's, like, hot enough now, so I'm gonna toss it in. You're supposed to do three minutes each side. alarm clock because it's filming right now. So um, can somebody count the timer for me? Thank you. I can't stand her vocal fry otherwise she's cute. What vocal fry are you talking about? I think maybe like you need to get your speaker fixed. Okay, guys, that's not what I meant by count. I don't mean put one, two, three in check. That's not what I meant. I mean, go, hey, Siri. It's going to end the live stream if I say that. Oh, my God. Is it okay? Okay. Say, hey, space, Siri, and then say, set a timer for, insert, three minutes. Now two minutes. I have to do, have to do all the work here. I have to do the math for you, too. Are you serious? Five minutes left for it. No, no, no. It's three minutes every each side. How long has it been? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna I don't know how long it's been. for the color turn looks how you want it yeah but I can't tell right now if it's on the side 
that it that it's cooking on. Like I know how it looks. Guys, don't tell me how to do my job. Okay? I know how it's supposed to look. I can't tell how it looks when it's on that side and I haven't flipped it. Yeah! How long has it been? Burnt? No! You guys lied, it's not burnt. Two dollars to protect from Bart's Malone, Esteban Murillo. What else are you making, Bimbo Chef Benti? We're making chicken pesto, that's all you get. Side to protect people. Shit! I'm trying to make sure the breadcrumbs don't come off. No, you don't use avocado oil, you use virgin olive oil. You don't listen? Did I say avocado oil? Nestle 4.99. Do you guys remember that clip I should feed this house burning down? Yeah. What about it? Are you saying that's going to happen here? Because it's not. See, I actually know what I'm doing. How many minutes has it been? Use coconut oil, guys. It's better. Uh, yeah. You, use coconut oil if you want to uh, learn how to cook from a Neanderthal like him. Yeah, listen to chat. Okay. Wait, I have to turn it off. It's like cooking too quickly. It's been 1.4 minutes. 2 minutes, 36 seconds. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's almost done. It's almost done. So right now the stove is off. Okay, it's already hot enough. You don't need to keep it on. That's how you burn food. When it gets to the end, you turn it off. Especially with the electric stove. Because it just stays hot, which is annoying. Don't, don't get me started on electric stove, honestly. That's not. It's not raw chicken. That was a calculated risk. I know the oil wasn't that hot because I turned the stove off. I'm just trying to pull it down. Like I said, I know what I'm doing. Should I use this knife? Literally got two hours of shepherding chicken. You made you sweat. You gotta get in shape. Right? I'm not sweating. And wait, am I greasy? Am I greasy right now? Is that why I'm saying that? Okay. Well, you know what? You try to look perfect while you're cooking. Okay. So now, I'm going 
going to cut the chicken into smaller pieces for the sandwich. Um, honestly speaking, I don't really have to cut it that thin. Honestly, I don't feel like cutting the chicken. So we're actually not going to do it because I actually just don't feel like doing it. In video, if I don't subtract cutie for it, maybe you can teach Chrissy how to cook better than an 11-year-old. Well, you know, her wifely duties, they agreed upon. You know, some people, um, they have Italian moms who can cook good, so they don't have to learn how to cook necessarily. And I think that might be the case with Frankie's mom because he's Italian, so. Anyway, so now that that's done, um, I don't have a toaster. So what we're actually going to do is um, bring the ghetto into the kitchen for a second. And um, when you bring your ration into the kitchen, what you're going to do is um, open the door to the oven because it's too cold in here and you can't actually afford to keep the heat, heat on. So this is how you heat up the apartment. That's actually a true story. My mom and I had to used to do that to get heat in the apartment. Um, but yeah, you're just wanting to preheat the oven. I put it on, I think, 380. Okay, so if you guys ever cook Hot Pockets, Hot Pockets are 360, and the reason for that is because you want it to be crispier. When you make the oven hotter, it makes bread crispier. So I put it at 380, um, because I think that's what should do it. So this is gonna be my toaster, is this oven, because I don't want a toaster. I own an air fryer, but I don't feel like using that, so. And we have sourdough bread. If you use any other bread for a chicken pesto sandwich, like you're an animal. I don't know what is wrong with you. Like, just don't use bread at that point. Just make it a fucking chicken salad or something. all the air out of the bread so that I can store it again. Oh, and in case you guys are wondering, this is on purpose. So you do this to the chicken because it's after cooking. So no, it's not going to be raw because I only cooked it six minutes. It's, it's still cooking. Alright, so now the sourdough bread is on parchment paper. Um, we're going to toast it once the oven is preheated, which it's not yet, and then put it in. I cook a lot better than this blindfolded. Um, were you sleeping? Also, we're going to be putting the chicken back in the oven on top of the bread after the toast is toastier, so it'll be fine. Cut the chicken in half, let's see how cooked it is. It's still after cooking. What part of after cooking do you not understand? If I cook, if I cut the chicken, it's no longer going to be after cooking because it needs the warmth to coagulate inside of it. Just like your fucking dad did to your mom. One of the top 10 mistakes of life. Commission me, I can make you one. Ooh, just can make me a cute apron. I want it in a specific shade of pink. I want it in blush pink and I want the, apron to be like frilly. 
but I think that I think that you guys should pay for an apron because if I ruin it, it's literally because I'm cooking for you. So like, why should I pay for it? That doesn't even make sense. The chicken is still moving. No, it's not. Stop saying that. You're trying to hex my chicken. Don't hex my chicken. Sheer and white would be preferable. White doesn't look good on me. I have a apron that's sheer and white, but it doesn't cover the first half. It only covers the bottom half. It's like here. through my Amazon wish list. This is too much. Shiny face. Okay, well, I literally just oil blotted my face before the stream. So, you know what? This is just reality. Okay, if you want your wife to have matte skin all the time, then go, like, date someone with extreme eczema. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Is this preheated yet? Is it hot yet? Okay, it's hot enough. It's hot enough. Okay, so now we wait for some amount of time. I don't know how long, but like, we'll take it out at some point. You, need, you should have a couple kids bugging you while you cook. Oh, I do, they're outside. You can't hear them screaming on stream. They have their kids outside running and screaming as background noise. I think they do it on purpose. They're like, you know what? I feel like there's some streamers on the property that need some background noise. So they like send their kids out there to scream for me. It's really charitable of them. Uh, Mah Mahandra fan, four Australian dollars in a stream lapse today. No, nope, there is um, no video today, but I'm still reading the stream lapse donations. I'm opening it right now. Thank you for the super chat. So. Um, what's the name? 14? Oh, wow. Blueberry Nebula 3. Thank you for the $100. That's very kind of you to support a woman being in her place. Very kind of you. Which is on stream. Youngless $10. Mutt Kitchen Power. Thank you. Facing Crush $7.77. Almost a year in Texas. You seem happier. Yeah. We're going to be breaking in a year at the end of August, so cheers to that. Haven't regretted the move yet. I'll visit New York to visit my friends at some point. So, we'll see. Um, how long has it been since I put the toast in the oven? It's been like two minutes, right? Give it like, we'll give it like five more minutes and then we'll, okay, now it breaks. Then we'll put the chicken on it with the um, mozzarella cheese. Oh, and by, the way, and by the way, there's spare chicken in here that I season um, for future meal prepping because like if I'm already seasoning chicken, why would I go back and do it again? So the packet had like 10 pieces, so the rest are in here. tomato off. We're going to wash it. And then we're going to cut up the tomato. super chat that's called um starts with an a um shit what is it called okay i'm trying to read my 
my note, my penmanship at this particular moment when I wrote this is atrocious. Allegria. Allegria art. That's the name of that art style where it's like a bunch of like purple and pink people with ugly proportions. They're small little fucking heads and they're wonky bodies. It's so ugly. I hate it. It's so ugly. They literally, the corporations use it. They use Allegria style for their art. It, yeah, it's literally the woke style of art. They use it because it's really cheap to do and it's not offensive. But it's like in that process, you're also losing art and you're also losing the meaning of art and making it ugly and meaningless because every corporation uses that art style. So I really don't like it. Like even objectively speaking, even if it were just independent artists using it, I don't like it. I think it's ugly. I think it's like what a five-year-old would draw. So you're cutting slices of tomato. We're decapitating the head and throwing it away. You can make it as thin or like thick as you want. That's just a personal preference, honestly. Hmm. It tastes good. I discovered very recently ooh, that I like tomato. So now the toast should be kind of toasty. I'm flipping it for a second. I think it needs to be a little toastier. Have the mozzarella cheese out. And we have some uh, baby arugula. Ideally, you want some purple onion, but I'm, I don't think I have any. Oh, wait, yes I do, I have purple onion. Okay, we're gonna cut this off. By the way, this thin cutting board works fine. Wait, wait, I need to look at the tutorial again. I forgot. Oh my goodness, he doesn't show how to cut the onion in the tutorial and I literally forgot which way you cut it. Oh my goodness. So I remember you're supposed to do this. Cut that off. And then you use the little penis on the onion. You see what I'm saying? You use the little penis on the onion to hold it. And then I think you cut it this way, I'm pretty sure. Well, that'll make rings. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. Yeah, okay. And if it wasn't apparent, when you cut it, it makes taking the skin off easier. So that's what I'm doing. We really 
don't need more than that. We're just going to put the other half away. Okay, the, for the bread burns, Now the toast is toasty, so we're going to take the chicken and put it on there, on one of the slices, and um, there's honestly like an extra piece here, but I don't care, I'm going to put it on anyway. The sandwich is going to fall apart, I know this, I, I'm going to do it anyway. And. Now we're going to take the mozzarella. Hold on. This is how you dull your knife. Listen, I don't have a man around to open it for me. So if I have to sharpen my knife, my little knife sharpener that I just bought for doing that, then so be it. So now we're going to add the mozzarella cheese. I'm a cheese person, so I add a lot. Honestly, it would make it easier if you put it on a baking tray, but I don't because I just don't like having to clean the dishes. Like, the effort of, like, putting it in the dishwasher is too much for me. But just for the sake of you guys, I'll do it, okay? Ignore that. You didn't see that. more dim like it looks more dead and this looks more healthy and green and I feel like this one also tastes better it looks more fresh so I like this one from Costco's Kirkland So I'm probably going to put more than other people would. That's just the amount I like. Listen, nobody's telling you to eat it. And then if you don't eat it, I'm going to be like, I made it for you. You're, and you're not even going to eat it? Eat it or you're paying child support. Okay. So now we're putting it back in the oven for a few minutes. I don't know how long. Just like take a guess. I don't know. I'll just tell you. Just figure it out. Just figure it out. I have to figure out how to cook. You can figure it out. Okay, I could have sworn like I missed a super chat or something. Hold on. All right, five dollars from Just Six. Need a donut gold Brit, so pay me for a handmade bimbo apron. We could do that. 
That'd be fun. Track toe spread. Thank you, Spectral. Good timing. I saw, I saw when you did that one. I just didn't read it, like, out loud. Ten dollars for monkey head. Can't you use a good kind of bread? Sourdough is disgusting. Um, yeah, you mean a good kind of bread? You mean uh, white bread? The bread of obese people? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. If you want, if you want to be fat, of course. Use white bread. Of course. You just realized you were 10 minutes behind somehow? Oh, I don't know how that happened. Probably from, you know, I wouldn't ask chat for help for counting time for anything, Jess, if you were thinking about doing that. Don't do that. We tried that earlier and they couldn't even count three minutes. I told my chat to count, to, to set a timer for three minutes, and what they did was count to three in my chat. So they're clearly not very helpful, so don't rely on them for that. The more you check on it, the faster it cooks. You accidentally reset it. Your life's about to get accidentally reset. I'm gonna ban you from my channel. How do you feel about Wonder Bread Italians? What's a Wonder Bread Italian? What does that mean? Is that a slur? Did a new slur just drop? You want to see traditional African mud? You know, we tried cooking mud cookies and then Twitch banned me and said, quote, how would you feel so I made fun of your heritage? And I was like, do you not see my kinky hair? There's actually a bread called bimbo. Oh yeah, there is. I forgot about that. Okay. I think it's been in there like almost long enough. Personally, I mean, you could like put the onions and tomato in there like while it's cooking, but I like, someone pointed this out to me, the contrast of like cold to hot. And actually after trying it, I agree. I think it tastes better if you put the cold, um, produce on it after it's cooked. So yeah, um, should be done about now. I need cuter mittens. These are lovely. And voila. Smells good. Smells like pesto. more cheese, but like, whatever. So I'm putting the tomato on it while eating it. That's part of the requirements. You have to eat the tomato as you put it on. I don't see you guys eating the tomato while you put it on. You're going to get points taken off. Okay, so when making a sandwich, the thing you want to do, the most important part of the sandwich is putting too much shit on so that it all falls apart when you eat it. Because if you actually put the amount you're supposed to on a sandwich, it's not enough macros. It's not enough calories. We know this. We know tacos are a lie. They're made up. They're bullshit. Tacos and sandwiches are literally made up for commercials. We all know if you actually put the amount of food that you wanted to eat on it, it would just fall apart. So we all know that sandwiches are fake news, um, tacos are fake news. What ends up happening when I make a taco is it just turns into a taco salad because it breaks up. I have to use um, cassava flour or whatever because I'm allergic to corn. But yeah, it, it breaks up. So that's bullshit. We know it's bullshit. We know it's a lie. Right, I'm putting the onion on it right now. I remove the ugly parts, like the middle part, it's ugly, so I get rid of it. 
with these little tiny circles. Like, if you want your food to be ugly, feel free to keep it on, but, you know, that's just not me. That's not my style. Okay. Now, the arugula. And make sure you turn your stove off. This is already washed. No, I'm not dirty. It literally, it literally says it's washed on the label. Calm down. All right, let's get a closer look of the sandwich before it inevitably falls apart. See, it looks really good, right? We're gonna pretend it's gonna look like that when I put the top on, all right? Cool. Okay, make sure you guys are in position. It's a little crooked. That'll do. plate out. It's going to get annoying to wash it. Okay, I'm getting the bimbo plate out just for you guys. Bimbo plate. All you have to do to make stuff pretty is put a bunch of leafy shit all around it. Watch. It makes it so much better. I'm telling you. want to taste the onion. Told you guys it's part of the cooking. You have to do it. Okay, see? Now we have a bunch of arugula on it. It makes it look more professional. Somebody take a screenshot before it falls apart. I hope it comes out cute. Okay. We're gonna we're going to assemble the sandwich now very carefully. And then when it inevitably keeps falling off, you give up and then you just eat it as a side. So yeah, there we go. We have a pesto chicken sandwich that's falling apart. See? I'm holding it together. See? <laughs> All right, give me a second. I have to set up the table.
Is there such thing as sandwich glue? I need some sandwich glue. talking with her about the truth video if possible. Okay. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, I'm going to move you guys. I'm going to turn the front cam on and uh, do it that way. Oh, can I not flip it while it's live? I think I can. Okay, there we go. Is this, like, too dark? <sighs> Having bright lights on while you eat. It's so Here we go. Here's a better shot. Dinner is served. Wait. Wait, it has to be the right amount of, of hair in the front of my face. Bimbo power. Okay. Watch how badly it's gonna all fall apart. I'm, I'm like anticipating it. Before, we're gonna see the after. It's literally falling everywhere. They should make eating aprons normal. This is literally how you should eat. You should eat with an apron on. That's really good. See, the chicken's cooked. It's not undercooked. It is a lot of onion, but it's like the salt. You do it preemptively because it's never enough. You know it's gonna fall out. Cutting it in half is better. Yeah, but I don't feel like doing that, so. super chat say. <laughs> Four tail Australian dollars. Decorate your bare walls. They're not bare. It's just this one. Oh, I have a painting I want to put on it, but I need a man to do it because it's too big and heavy for me to do. $1.99 from Amar God. Needs to chew your food more. Okay, you guys know how I feel about chewing. It's a lot of work. You guys saw on my a Daiso haul on the second channel that I get really tired of waiting to chew. It just takes too long. Like, it's annoying. I hate chewing. Miss Lodge, why are you up my ass about how much I chew? Are you counting? Are you sitting there counting as I'm chewing? Like, one two, three, this is why people don't eat on stream. Also, 
Yes, I know it's a big sandwich, but I didn't eat today, so it's fine. Mm. Oh. Also, if it weren't obvious, again, I just assume that you guys would figure this out. You add salt and pepper before you cook it. No, I did not put mayo. And why would you put mayo? How would you put mayo if you're already putting pesto on it? Were you even paying attention? Were you honestly even paying attention? How, why would you ask that? $5 super chat from Crowfu. Do you choose spaghetti? I knew a girl who's just slurped it, meatballs and all. That's how you're supposed to eat ramen, but I don't like spaghetti. This is not a pasta inclusive channel. The only pasta I eat is macaroni and cheese. Check stream labs when you're done eating. Okay, I will. The best part of eating is when you get a sharp side of the bread and it cuts you on the way down. Mm -mm -mm. I did chill. You, what do you mean that's why we chill? You fucking see me chilling. You literally see me chewing. I'm sitting here getting a full fucking facial workout and you're telling me, oh, that's why we chew. You see me chewing. Can't even enjoy me Two dollar super trap from Glassville. You're a pasta disrespecter, Mamma Mia. Yeah, that's my new screen name, pasta disrespecter. I should do a cooking stream where I cook pasta and then throw it out. <laughs> Just not even eat it. <laughs> I like this idea. Thank you, Cat98, for the $2. Brittany's Bimbo Bistro. I like that. No pickle. So true. 
You can see that flat out my mouth. I should add pickle. That sounds like it would be really good. All right, this last bite. me yeah it was very good That every time you donate to a cooking stream, it does make me want to do more cooking streams. Hold on. I couldn't get that off with my teeth. Blue Starry Nebula 3, thank you for the $100. And then another $100 from Blue Starry Nebula 3. Enjoy your me meal. I should have, you should have donated beforehand. Then maybe I would have ordered takeout instead of cooking. No, but thank you so much for supporting the Bimbo Kitchen. You will now get more cooking streams because they have, everyone chat. Thank Blue Starry Nebula Three for being the ultimate bestest client, king client, because he just bought you another cooking stream. I like how you enjoy your meal like it's like he's a waiter. Calhoun, five dollars, bussin. Good thing I read that after I ate, trying to ruin my appetite. Crowhoo, five dollars. Just don't burn your kitchen down like the other bimbo. Help, he, help, chat, chat. I don't know what to do. Because that actually happened, like when some, because I remember there was that one thing where the streamer burnt their house down, but I don't think it was from cooking. But yeah, thank you guys for supporting the cooking stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Somehow, okay guys, somehow every cooking stream ends up over an hour. I don't know how it takes that long to do that. Like this is supposed to honestly take like, outside of marinating the chicken, this is supposed to take like 20 minutes. Somehow it, it turns into an hour long ordeal. Sorry, I get that out of my teeth. It was like in the back. But yeah, the Ponko breadcrumbs was actually a good call on your guys' part. Um, no, you did not need a uh, gluing agent. Like I suppose if you wanted to like waste less breadcrumbs, you could do that. But um, I don't feel like resealing breadcrumbs, to be honest. It came in the little plastic baggie. She's in her 20s and can't cook, lol, that's our world today. It's, it's not like we just sat here of over a fucking hour cooking or anything. And so it's, it's not like I just cooked an entire meal over the course of a fucking hour or anything, right? I can't stand you guys. I, I really can't stand some of you guys. I did not overheat my oil. The chicken cooked perfectly fine. Definitely need more salt. No, it didn't. I, I okay, you guys didn't see this part. I added salt and pepper to the, the vinaigrette oil, olive oil mix. So it already preemptively had salt on it. The panko breadcrumbs don't really have that much salt in it. So I already added a lot of salt prior when I was marinating it in the mixture. Cause I didn't want to sit here an hour while it marinates and do nothing. So I just did it before I started the stream. So no, it didn't need more salt. I actually added the correct amount of salt and pepper. I just forgot to mention it when I was explaining the mixture. Cause like salt and pepper is like a default. Like you always add salt and pepper. Like name one meal where you're not adding salt and pepper. Like that should just be factored in. 
that should just be an assumption on your guys then. Elsa Barrett, five Canadian dollars. Have you considered selling your burps in a jar? Brittany Belches. Yeah, I've, I've heard of the idea before, but I'm on the market of um, pandering to freaks, so no. <sighs> Pinko is the correct pronunciation, sweetie. No, it's not! It's fucking Japanese! I watched enough anime to know how the fuck to pronounce Panko. Panko. It's a fucking Japanese word. Your dumb southern accent. It's panko. Why eat some panko breadcrumbs? Go watch anime. You sound disgusting. Go watch more anime. I just cook with some panko. I'm leaving. I, 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 I'm literally about to leave. I'm literally two seconds from leaving. I swear. I really am. Like, clearly you don't want me here. Clearly I'm not being appreciated. Blue Story is one of the only people appreciating me right now. And Crow Foof with the $2 super chat. The Hungry Hungry Bimbo. Do, 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 do. Hungry Hungry Bimbo. You guys remember that commercial? Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Oh, you guys actually took the screenshots of me holding the food up. Thank you. I'm going to retweet that. Or actually, I'm just going to use it when I conclude the stream. Be like, great stream, guys. Had such a, like, like totally pretend I didn't, like, have a melty in front of you guys, like, ten times over the course of the past hour. It was such a fun stream. It was such a fun cooking stream. <laughs> Two dollar super chat from NVIDIA. Food looks super yummy. Thank you. It was. I want to sit here and lie to you guys. Do you guys just think I'm lying to you? To like what? To For what reason? To like pretend I know how to cook? Like, oh yeah, it was so good. <clears throat> like, no. It actually does taste good. Like, why do you think I don't chew? It's because it, I want to get it down faster. It tastes good. Like, I want to enjoy more of it. The Range Lunatic, aka DL199 Super Chat. Don't leave, Brittany. Okay. How about this? For every one dollar, I will stay ten, ten more seconds. A sandwich is not real cooking. Yes, it is. I literally had to cook the chicken. Cold cuts are fake sandwiches. Those aren't real sandwiches because they take no skill. Blatant throwaway nine ninety nine super chat. A la mal. Wait, I, I can't do the math. How much time is that? $9.99, I said $1 per 10 seconds. That means it's $6 for a minute. So that means I have to stay one and a half more minutes, I think. Okay, <laughs> start the timer. <laughs> I was halfway joking about that. But I will stay if you pay me to stay. To some extent. Someone just drops a thousand dollars. Oh, looks like you're streaming all night. <clears throat> Is there a chance you'll go to GT online one more time? Jessica wanted to play, so maybe I'll consider that. Um, see, I'm more inclined to do a stream like that if it's off cam. I just really, it's like a lot of work to go on cam. Like honestly, today I wasn't even gonna stream because I was like, you know what, I'm on day, I don't even know with my hair, like probably like day five of my hair. Um, I don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup and like all this, so I lazily did my makeup. I did like the bare, bare minimum and like put my hair in the ponytail and was like, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna cook. I'm just gonna make the content. I feel, like, I feel like that's what it's about. You have to really push through on those days, like where you're mentally in the mood, but like you're a woman. So like you feel like you're not at your your baseline level of attractiveness. Cause that's a, that's a part of being a content creator that people don't talk about. Um, and this is actually true. Like you guys are like, oh, this is bimbo posted, but it's like really, I mean it is, but that's not, that doesn't make it any less true. So. If you're a man, you can literally roll out of bed and just stream every day consistently. It's no problem. When you're a woman, there's a whole preparation 
and if you have dirty hair it's like your whole day is ruined and it's like okay we'll just wash your hair it's like okay but i have curly hair it takes three hours to do so it's a whole ordeal like and imagine i wake up late today i woke up at 1 p.m so that means like i can't get my day started till like later in the day had i washed my hair till like 4 p.m and then make up and then that's more time than by that time the sun's setting so it's it's really annoying so it's harder being a woman and streaming um to get, make more content because you literally have an uphill battle versus guys can literally roll out of bed and to wash their hair it takes like less than five minutes because their hair is very short and doesn't require any products or styling really or minimal so it's an uphill battle and it's a battle i have to fight every four to five days it's like oh my hair is on its last legs so do i wash it and take the whole day off or do I pull through with my hair looking messy and looking a little bit like a homeless person? And I'm like, you know what? I'll pull through and, and look a little homeless today. After all, streamers are just e-beggars. We should just stream from cardboard boxes, to be honest. So yeah, that sucks. Guys have that advantage, and that's why men can make more content. Like, they don't have to do makeup. They don't have to do their hair. And this is, like, bare minimal. It's, it was already a lot to, like, get ready. Monkey had 15, 499 super chat. You ain't going nowhere. I am being held against my will with, with money, but with money. So it's like kind of in my will, not against my will, but like, okay, I'm being forced to take money against my will right now. This is literally terrorism. No, it's not. I'm joking, YouTube. You're so pretty. Thanks. I rolled out of bed today and smudged on eyeliner and put concealer under my eyes so I look less tired like I didn't wake up at 1 p.m. To our super chat from Philip Hugan. You may not leave. <laughs> All right. I didn't say I had to entertain you guys. I could just sit here silent. I'm gonna take the apron off now that I'm done cooking. Thank you guys for those of you who appreciated my cooking and said it would have tasted delicious because you're correct. Everyone else, um, fuck you. Go eat McDonald's. Go get McFucked. Head, hammerhead shark. Wow. Nothing makes me want to stay more than someone calling me a hammerhead shark. Amazing. Wonder if I should put the thumbnails that you guys tweeted at me as the thumbnail instead. Like this was a good one, right? That's a cute one. I was checking my tabs to make sure um I didn't have tabs of stuff. No, actually like my version of having a porn tab is like okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna snitch on the girls. Listen, I wouldn't do this if we were on the second channel, but we're on Brittany Venti, not Saturday Supermodel. So I'm going to snitch on the girls for a second. So, like, women, okay, if you have a girlfriend, sister, whatever, just know that if they're, like, between the age of Zoomer and Millennial, that they have a manifesto. Like, every girl, like, they write, like, novels. Like, you don't even know. Like, every girl's a writer. They have, like, all these notepads. Ask to see your girlfriend's notepad. Tell her, show, show me your notepad. I'm serious. Like... Any time, like, like women will just complain in a notepad and write the most fucked up shit in a notepad. I'm telling you, it's crazy. So like, I, I, I like check. That's my version of that. It's like, oh, check if like I have a notepad out or something with some shit on it of me complaining about something. Jimmy speaker 499 super chat sleep till one e beg. You're essentially becoming dark side Phil. No, dark side Phil is better at video games than me. So. Junior five dollars super chat. What did you think of Alex Stein's AOC confrontation video? Um, a part of me was like, oh, it reminds me of when I get catcalled. The other part of me was like, she, you know, she she does have this attitude to where I think that sort of trolling uh, is a little warranted, to be honest. So I thought it was funny overall. It sucks that his uh, show got canceled because of it, though. He had like some sort of live uh stand-up thing or, or something some sort of live show that got canceled because of that she got it canceled 
and, uh, you know, because I guess she's just pro-censorship, which it's fucked up for her to do that, in my opinion. Um, I, I mean, like, maybe you could argue, like, she's, he, he sexually harassed her by doing that. And you guys know I'm very anti-catcalling because it's very cringe and, like, only ugly men do it. But, like, not that Alex Stein's ugly, because he was doing it for a bit, so it was different. But, like, also, obviously, in his case, it wasn't to literally hit on her. It was obviously because it's a bit, and that's his thing, to go to public figures and kind of troll. So I think it's different. So I don't think she should have done that. I don't think she should have literally affected his livelihood and gotten his show canceled. That's fucked up. Like, she needs to get a sense of humor. Like, I don't know how she didn't laugh at that. Like, how do you not have a sense of humor for that? Because that's totally different than the normal catcalling that happens. That's, like, really annoying. Like, he did it, and it was, like, in a very obnoxious, like, obviously funny way. Like, humorously intended type of way. So, I don't know why she has to be so uppity about it. She needs to get a sense of humor. A AOC has, like, no sense of humor. And it's honestly insufferable. Like... She has the potential to have so much sense of humor, too. Because she's Latina. Like, they're, they, they're supposed to kind of have that, like... Because um, she's from the Bronx. So there there's, like, a certain um, type of environment that comes with that. Where you would expect them to have a better sense of humor. And be, like, a little more offensive and things like that. Because New Yorkers are offensive. Okay? Why do you guys think I curse so fucking much? But, like, she's she doesn't have any of that spice. She's just, like acting like a Karen and it's honestly such a turnoff and I don't mean sexually I mean like when someone is is a turnoff like even even person like they're off-putting her lack of sense of humor is off-putting AOC so she needs to get a sense of humor and stop uh ruining people's livelihoods for doing a a, a stand-up bit or a comedic bit whatever you want to call it like he he, he made it obnoxious on purpose because it's humorously intended so I feel bad for him that that happened to him. But someone called it, I forgot who it was. They are like, oh yeah, Alex Stein, you know, it's a funny bit that he goes up to politicians, but people who normally do that, it doesn't last long because they really don't like that and they usually get canceled over it. Like as in, they'll go and call places, be like, don't let him perform here, et cetera, et cetera. And then like literally less than a week after I heard that, that literally happened, kind of manifested. It's crazy. <clears throat> 1999 from Miracle Campbell. Can you make mac and cheese for the next bistro stream? Um, we can make mac and cheese in the bimbo bistro. Uh, you're not the first person to request it. So yeah, we could do it. I've never made mac and cheese from scratch before. So that'll be completely new. If you guys have any recommended recipes you want me to do, by the way, uh, either tweet it at me or if you're in Discord, uh, tag me in it. We have a community Discord, for those of you that don't know. It's patreon.com slash Venti, and you can join the Discord by becoming a $5 patron. We have other tiers too. I actually edited the Patreon, so check the new tiers out and everything. Uh, you can watch my videos early on there too if you didn't know that. Like, why didn't you know that? Are you stupid? 199 super chat <clears throat> from deranged lunatic aka DL Brittany Diva PO box not yet when I get a car and my license I will open a PO box for now I only have an Amazon wish list so <laughs> do craft mac and cheese I can't I'm pretty sure it has porn in it I, I you guys have to realize I actually do have to know how to cook because I can't eat most pre-made things because it has corn in it so I actually do need to know how to cook in order to live um at least live without hives all over me so I actually do have to cook it from scratch unfortunately and fortunately it's healthier <clears throat> maybe potatoes I could I like making french fries out of baby potatoes I learned that one from HelloFresh when they release, re-release Lollipop Chainsaw, you should live stream it. Oh, I promise you, I will 100% be live streaming that. I'm, you're not going to, nobody's, they're going to be like, where did Brittany go? And they're going to click my channel and see, oh, she's been playing Lollipop Chainsaw nonstop for a week. Lollipop Chainsaw is literally one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time. Which is so funny because when it was trending, <clears throat> when they announced they're re-releasing it, everyone was shitting on it and it's like it's like a shit test or something they're like doing it on purpose to gatekeep 
And I was like, yeah, keep gatekeeping it. Good job. Just keep saying such shitty games so nobody else plays it so that they don't ruin the game. It's literally the bimbo game. It's the, it's the bimbo game to end all bimbo games. There's no games that are more bimbo and good than Lollipop Tree and Salt. It's a, you dress up, they have anime cosplays. This was before cosplay was even that mainstream because this game is like over 10 years old or something like that. Um, she's cute, she's blonde with blue eyes, the typical bimbo stereotype. Her boyfriend's on her hip. Um, literally Chad Thundercock's on her hip as she's killing the zombies and going, ha, and like doing poses with glitter coming out when she kills zombies. It has that like offensiveness to it, but it's also very cute. Cause so it's gory, but it's cute, but it's also offensive and like a little bit, uh, like vulgar in the humor. And I like that. That's exactly the combination that I like. That's why I love Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt so much. Same vein. This is, if there was a video game of Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt, the anime, this would be it. It would be Lollipop Tree and Soul. So all these people who are saying it was a bad game, if they were saying that unironically, they literally have no taste. You have no sense of humor and you have no taste and you don't fucking get it. Like you are a disgrace to bimbos nationally if you don't like Lollipop Chainsaw. Like, no, for real. If there's a bimbo state, like a bimbo ethno state, it's not ethno because it's not based on race, it's based on status of bimboness. If there was a bimbo state and you said, that would literally be on the questionnaire to citizenship. Do you like Lollipop Chainsaw? If you don't, if you don't click yes, you're not accepted. Your, your visa is denied. Absolutely unacceptable, absolutely disgusting. If you don't like all I Puff Chain saw, we can't be friends. Because you objectively have no taste. You have no taste. You don't. You're either a man or you're a female with no taste. Those are your two options. Like, I, I can't, I, I actually couldn't believe when I clicked the trending tab. And there were just thousands of people. Like, guys, it wasn't even like, oh, here and there. Like, no, every single person on the trending tab was saying how Lollipop Chainsaw was dumb and not to remake it and it wasn't worth blah, blah. I'm like, where are these people coming from? Like, of course you got, of course Twitter doesn't like Lollipop Chainsaw. That means it's a good game. If Twitter doesn't like the game, it means it's a good game. Like, oh yeah, of course. You mean the same group of people, the same group of woke people that like ugly things? Yeah, of course you don't like Lollipop Chainsaw because you have no fucking taste. Like, that's a given. Like, yeah, you're over here uh, downloading fucking Allegria art and printing out and posting on your wall because you like ugly, disgusting things. And I like beautiful things that <clears throat> make my day better, like Lollipop Chainsaw. Literally, you're, you're doing, there's like heart sparkles coming out and you're killing the zombies and it's like a cute storyline. It's like hearted, but it's like also adult oriented that's what i like about the game it's very adult oriented and i find that there's a lack of that nowadays especially in anime for example that's why i don't like modern anime guys i tried watching hunter hunter last night i watched four episodes it wasn't bad but it just felt it didn't feel adult enough it felt too childish i don't like childish animes outside of like a few that are I watched when I was growing up because I was a child, like Toonie Bio. Like Toonie Bio, you could kind of watch as an adult because it's kind of cute. Or like Love is War, you could kind of watch as an adult, it's kind of cute. But like, I like things that are more adult oriented. I like vulgar humor. Like, I, that's what I like. And I just, there's there's such a lack of it. There's no more Yu Yu Hakusho shows. There's no more Inuyasha's. It, it, it just doesn't happen anymore and it fucking sucks. And that's why I don't consume things past 2009, other than Vaporwave. And Vaporwave, what is that? It's just a rework of 1980s Japanese city pop. So what does that tell you? <clears throat> Sorry, I get very passionate about my bimbonomics. I really can't stand people who sit there and act like they know what they're talking about when they don't, about aesthetics and about like what's actually appealing. Cause they're like, like, what game do you think someone who doesn't like Lollipop Chainsaw plays? Like, what game do you think they fucking play? They probably play, like, fucking, what's what's an annoying, ugly game? Like, let me go on Twitch. <laughs> let me go on Twitch really quick. And just choose the top ten games. Um, 
What the fuck is this? Look what's on Twitch! What is that? I, I, I didn't know I logged on to fucking my free cams. I went here to find categories of video games and, and there's just this girl with her like, it's literally about to slip out. Like, I'm not, guys, you guys know, like, I'm well endowed, obviously. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with being well endowed and laying down, so to speak. Like, you just want to chill and chat. But, like, it's something about, there's just something provocative about the combination here. Like, it's too, too low cut. And I know, like, I have cleavage right now. But, like, this is, guys, this is way more. This is way, way more, and it's literally about to slip out. Like, it's the combination, it's the context. Like, it seems inappropriate. It's like too much. Especially, it's like right in my face. Like, as soon as I click the website, like Twitch, if you're gonna have that on your website, like, why is it like right in my face? Like, guys, I literally just clicked Twitch, and that's what came up. Like, on the front page, it's not even hidden. There are underage kids on here, like, clicking on that and it's usually it usually doesn't end there it's usually girls like sucking on phallic objects into the microphone deep throating it <clears throat> it's on the front page and you know who else is on the front page sasha gray a porn star who is ironically more covered up but a literal porn star on the front page guys i'm not logged in i don't have a twitch account by the way so i could be an underage kid and i'm just clicking on it anyway Let's see, um, games. Okay, people who's, who shit on Lollipop Chainsaw are literally like Fortnite players. You literally play Fortnite. Drew Thompson, $5 Super Chat. Finally a good Brittler stream. You should do roasting Twitch stream. Should I click it, guys? Should I click on it? I don't want to give her a view, though. Cat 98, $2 super chat. You do classic cleavage. Yeah, but people don't know how to make that discernment between like what's tasteful and what's not. So they, they just compute it as, oh, big booby. Like that's that's all people compute it as because they have no actual ability to use discernment. They have no, literally guys in the Bible, they count discernment as a superpower because literally it is kind of true. It's like, it's that rare. People actually don't know how to discern. No, it's making me watch an ad. I don't want to, I don't want to give ad rev. I don't want to watch that. Thank you, PM, for the $50. And supporting my cooking ranting. But yeah. Um. Why are you guys screenshotting me eating? Like, do you think this is okay? Do you think this is okay? Do people, do you like it when people stare at you when you eat? Austin Kaser, $5 super chat. To date, your best video was your response to the post on Reddit, hip, hypothesizing about your nipple cover. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the one where they photoshopped back pockets onto my jeans. They were like, her ass would look better if it had pockets. And they literally photoshopped pockets onto my ass. I love pesto chicken. No, pesto bacon pasta combo, you could add some cheese. Bacon would be good on a chicken pesto sandwich potentially, but I don't eat bacon because it's high carcinogen to the point where they literally put a disclaimer label on it. So I don't want to eat things that make me older like bacon. That's just too high in carcinogens. I'm looking at your guys' tweets. No, because you guys are over here talking about like, oh, make pasta, you eat pasta, you love pasta. And it's like, so you're telling me like, you have the choice between a chicken pesto sandwich, because you can only eat so many carbs, right? Assuming you guys aren't morbidly obese. I can either have a chicken pesto or spaghetti. So, like, like a slop of, of chicken meat and then spaghetti. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? Like... If you think that, you literally are that type of person that would criticize Lollipop Chainsaw to a severe degree. 
Like, I get it. There's complaints about the game. The gameplay could have been longer than four-hour storyline if you're good at the game. I personally could beat it, really. If there's any game in the world that I could speedrun, it's Lollipop Chainsaw. I'm literally the best at that game more than I am at any other game that's ever been created. That's not a joke. Like, that's how much I played that game. I unlocked every costume. I, I wish I still had my PS2. I really do. I don't know where it went. I lost it at some point moving. And uh, I had my Lollipop Chainsaw in there. And I unlocked every outfit. Every, I, I even had the, like, exclusive one. I had everything. I knew how to do every combo by heart. I will speed run that game to show my dedication to bimbo power. See, of course someone in chat, Jared T, literally a in my chat saying unlocked every pointless outfit. Don't play Lollipop Chainsaw. It's not your game. It's not your game. Don't fucking play it then. Don't pay it. Don't. Don't play it. Don't. Because you clearly don't get it. You clearly do not understand the point of that game or why it is cute or cool to unlock outfits. Outfits motivate you to un unlock things. Clearly you're a guy and you don't actually appreciate art and beauty, which is dumb. It's like, how can men be visual creatures yet they literally on average, like look at my chat, on average lack the capability to appreciate art or beauty. Like it's insane to me. They're visual creatures, they can't decorate a fucking home. They're visual creatures that they don't understand why we would want cute costumes in a game. It's wild. It's wild to me. It is insanity. You're not fucking visual creatures. You're horny creatures. Is the Arlen $110? What is that? I don't even know what currency that is. I think that's like $5. Trying to look at your eyes, honest. There, does that help you? Men are visual creatures. They literally, you'll wear like two different outfits in two days. They won't notice. I could literally, guys, I could literally put on like a red dress and the next day put on a yellow top with jeans and, and men won't even notice. And they're like, we're visual creatures. Get a haircut. They don't even fucking notice. We're, we're visual creatures. You're a horny creature. Shut up. Stop lying. Coomers. They literally are. Jessica said, we are visual creatures, sir. You have a broken couch <laughs> and your TV is on the floor. Just say you can't control your dick and leave. <laughs> exactly. Men are visual creatures. Need I to refer to the tweet of, of the TV on the floor with the foldable chair and that's the entire room's furniture? Men be like, <laughs> we're visual creatures. <laughs> I'm dead. I, I am absolutely deceased. I am passing away. Visual creatures, my ass. That's the only thing men can visualize is tits and ass. Like, why are women, why are women prone to being artists and like have that creative eye and know how to make things beautiful, but then men as a tendency don't, but then they're visual creatures. It makes no sense. Elsa Barrett, $50 super chat. Can you eat rice? If so, do you like sushi? Or is 50 Canadian dollars? That's actually like $2. Um, no, but thank you for the 50 Canadian dollars. Uh, I can eat fish. I am allergic to shellfish, so I can't eat anything with a shell. So that means I can't eat crab. And by the way, I love seafood. It's literally my favorite food and I can't eat it. Uh, I wasn't always, I developed these allergies as an adult, so I can't eat shrimp anymore. I also can't eat salmon. I don't know why salmon in particular. I didn't know I was allergic to it and I was eating it every day two years ago and I was like, why do I feel like I'm dying every day? Like I literally felt like I was dying every day and it was because I was. I was literally going to anaphylactic shock on a daily basis because I didn't know I was allergic to salmon. I was eating it every day. And I had to kind of narrow it down. I was ordering Thai food because Thai food's my favorite food, along with seafood. And I love, guys, I used to eat Thai curry like every day. It's literally one of my favorite foods and I can't eat it anymore because I use fish oil. And it's like mystery fish, so you never know what you're getting. And so I was ordering like salmon curry, salmon green curry and things like that. And I was going into shock every day. And I was like, maybe it's the fish oil they use. So then I narrowed it down. 
and I just cooked plain salmon, nothing else for myself. And I started getting the reaction. I was like, oh my God, I'm allergic to salmon. And this was after I already found out I was allergic to shellfish for years. Uh, I, I got diagnosed when I was like 17. So when the salmon allergy happened, I was around 23, 24. And I was so upset because I was like, you know, I already can't eat most things. I'm already allergic to corn, which is in everything in America. I'm allergic to shellfish. I can't eat my favorite foods. Now I can't eat salmon. I can't eat salmon. Like it, it, it gets ridiculous. So I can't eat salmon anymore. I can't eat, um, I never had lobster before. I don't know how it tastes. I never will know how it tastes because it's a shellfish and I can't eat it. Um, I miss crab, I miss shrimp. I miss uh, clams oreganata. That was my favorite food. Uh, I never got to try oyster before I developed the allergy, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure I would have liked it. Same with lobster. Um, I can eat eel, but the eel sauce a lot of the time has shellfish in it or oyster in it. So it has to not have that and then I can eat it. And so I can eat eel if the eel sauce is safe. I can eat tuna. And I can eat like general white fishes. So like whitey, whiteies or like cod, things like that. I can eat that, but I can't eat salmon or anything with shell. I can eat squid and I can eat octopus surprisingly, but I can't eat like a mussel or anything like that. So that really sucks. So I have to get very creative with my food and, and learn how to cook things around these allergies. It's very annoying. And it also is a little bit challenging for me too because it's like obviously one day if I'm cooking for a guy, right, he doesn't have these allergies, he's going to want to eat all these things and I can't eat it. I can't, like what am I supposed to do, right? So I've had to basically learn how to cook things without knowing how they taste. So like for example, I made someone, uh, an ex, I made them salmon curry, uh, but I, I couldn't eat the salmon. So, but, and they told me it was good. I assume it was good. It looked good. It smelled good, but I, I have no way of knowing. I have to kind of depend on the other person to tell me if it tastes good or not. So I have, I, I have to cook things. I essentially have to cook things while not knowing how they taste. And it's literally a disability. Like I should literally get paid for, from the government for this. This is literally a disability. Like I can't, I can't properly cook for my hypothetical husband. It's fucked up. I should get supplemental income for that. Elsie Barrett, 10 Canadian dollars. Apparently if you have a shellfish allergy, you may also have an allergy to crickets. That they're going to be in everything soon. Fuck my life. I don't, I don't eat pantry food, generally speaking, anything. There's literally like two brands of chips I can eat. I literally am forced to eat healthy. For example, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys, hold on. Don't look. Not allowed to look. Ah, my phone's still. Oh, I almost fell. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait, actually, wait. <gasps> why did it close? What happened? Okay, I don't know why it closed. Hold on, hold on. Just, you know what? Just like, just wait there a second, okay? Just wait there. Okay. So this is one of the brands of chips. It's called Stacy's Pita Chips. So this is one of the brands I can eat. And this is the other brand. It's um, Siete? Grain free tortilla chips. So that's what, those are the only chips I can pretty much eat. So yeah. Hold on. Rotate the device back, it says. And same thing with salsa. I mean, like everything has corn in it, everything's annoying. It just sucks. It's just, how it is, I guess. 
Did I read all the super chats? I think I did. How are they though? They're okay. They're not as good as corn tortilla chips, honestly. All right, I set you guys back up. Boom. Okay. Yeah, corn and shellfish, they're not my only allergies, but they're my, uh, and, and salmon, but they're my food allergies. I don't talk about my other allergies because I don't want people like trying to kill me if I just mentioned what it was, because it, it would be very easy to, so I don't talk about it. But for example, I'm allergic to tree pollen, like really badly, to the point where I have to take uh, allergy medication when I go outside, especially during the spring. Like, and I know some people that get like, oh, my nose is runny or something. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like my entire face blows up and my throat starts closing. So, <clears throat> I have other allergies too, and it's hard to deal with. It's partially, I don't know, it's, it's a whole lifestyle. I have, to, I have to live in a bubble. You should start beekeeping. I don't, I don't think I'm allergic to bees. I heard people, well, I can't eat honey because it has tree pollen in it. I can't eat big amounts of it, but I heard that people purposely sting themselves because of health benefits. Like, does that get rid of allergies, getting stung? But yeah, they're not genetic. People like to use that against me. They think it's like, a, they're like, wow, you're defective. You're like defective goods. And it's like, first off, I would never even fuck you. Second off, so you don't have to worry about that. Second off, um, like no woman's ever gonna probably reproduce the you of quality. Uh, third off, it's not genetic. I'm a, I'm a fluke. It's one off. Nobody in my family on either side has any of the problems I have. Nobody, like I, only like one relative gets migraines and she got it as an adult. Nobody else gets migraines. Uh, nobody else has a single allergy, like not a single allergy on either side. I have allergies and I developed them as an adult. So clearly I'm a fluke. Clearly it, it, it's a one-off and it's like a environmental thing or like it's cause I wasn't breastfed as a kid or I'm a C-section baby. It's probably something to do with that, honestly. Or like New York City's tap water. Yeah, I take probiotics. I drink kombucha every day and I haven't drank an alcohol in, let me check. Cause alcohol ruins your gut flora. Uh, I have been drinking alcohol in 36 days. Baby, thank you for the 400 huff points. How, what did you mean by people can't discern, please? Like they can't tell the difference between two different things and they assume it to be the same thing because they can't tell the difference between them when they're not too two same two of the same things they're two different things but they're unable to see the differences or the nuances of it greek yogurt's good for you yeah if i'm making a smoothie i use greek yogurt there's a really good one from costco that has a lot of protein in it you guys should look for it that's what i got like if i'm too lazy to cook dinner because allergies right i can't just like eat pantry things all the time there's like very few pantry things i can eat so um, that's a good alternative for me is I make a lot of protein shakes. That's kind of how I live with allergies. Uh, and, and which by the way, it's very hard to find protein powder without corn in it as well. There's like two brands I can eat. So it's tough, but I figured out which brands and I make fruit smoothies usually. I get frozen fruit because it doesn't expire as quickly. It's easier and if you use frozen fruit, you don't have to use ice. And I don't like using ice because it takes up too much room in like the cup I, uh, it's one of those like blender cups where it's like one serving. I have the full one, but it's a lot of work to wash it. So I like using the small one that's one serving and it, it takes up too much room if you use ice. So I use frozen fruit instead because two birds, one stone, right? It stays good longer and it's already cold. You don't need to add ice, it doesn't take up space. So then you add the yogurt and then you add the protein powder and you can add matcha too. 
I like doing that or add like acai powder frozen fruit is better than ice yeah because ice just waters it down so that's that's my workaround I don't know whatever you're doing your hands is great oh my my uh manicure why do men always assume if your nails are like even slightly long that they're fake like they're not fake And, okay, also, also, what is with men assuming that your nails are long if they're, like, not just cut to the fucking skin? Like, that's crazy to me. Because, like, people consider these really long nails. Like, they'll call them, like, like, Monisha claws. And it's, like, calm the fuck down. No, it's not. Like, these are normal length nails. These are normal. And it's like, oh, if they're not literally cut to down here, then they're long. So, yeah. Apparently, these are Shaniqua nails, according to men. Like, to women, this is normal, but to men, these are Shaniqua nails. What I mean by that is, like, they refer to it as Shaniqua nails because it's associated to be very ghetto if your nails are very long because they're, like, acrylic. They're, like, fake acrylic nails. They, these are clearly not. These are like very believable to be a normal nail length that you can grow, which I did. But yeah, it is nice I can do this. I have green French tips. They take the dipping powder. It's just like a, it's basically nail polish for men here that don't get it. Um, and they dip your nail in it. And then they like you can choose a different color French tip. So because I don't want to get white all the time, so I got green. It's like a matcha green, and I like it. I'm gonna do blue next time, I think. I love a natural beauty. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love me? My dad. No. Just, just joking. I mean, like, kind of. Anyway. <clears throat> Salmon from the sky, $8.88. Brittany Venti, do you think it's morally wrong to taste people in the genitals with their consent for public entertainment? Yes. That, like, in public, you're implying there's children there. Yeah, yes. That's also, it's degenerate. It's weird. Who is it helping? Um... Like, what, what benefit are you providing to anyone, like, even yourself doing that? How do things like this make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel like cringing. Fallacious, insatious, 20-hour, uh, not super chat, 20-hour donation. Uh, simp fund. I should get, like, a jar that says simp jar and, like, put fake money in it every time you guys donate. Thank you for supporting the Bimbo Bistro. I think that's what we're going to call it now. But yeah, like, I'm not... Okay, so let me further clarify for those of you who lack discernment. So, like, obviously, if you're, like... I don't know. Like, are you... If you're, like, alone at fucking 3 a.m. at, like, a beach and you're, like, having sex or something because of some circumstance, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like... This is, so when you ask this, in my head, I'm imagining, like, a pride parade. Like, like people just going around at, like, 3 p.m. in middle of the street, in middle of, like, public where there's a lot of people, and you're, like, just sucking dick. Like, that's what I imagine. So, so that's, that's, in that context, that's what I'm responding to. Why would you even ask me that? What kind of question is that? Like, why would you need to know my opinion on that? Like, of all the things to ask my opinion on, like, you couldn't ask, like, what's your opinion on um, dolphins getting killed in nets in fishing? Like, or or what's your opinion on the, the color orange? Like, no, you have to ask me about sucking dick in public. Why? For what reason? 
Brick row decules, ten dollars super chat. Discernment, modern or classical art style? I mean, classical art, obviously. But I think there's some modern art that can be pretty. Like I have some on my wall over there. Um, I don't feel like moving stuff around showing you guys right now. Do you grow any plants? Not really. I have a succulent that's outside and a snake plant on my porch. NVIDIA $2 super chat. What is your opinion on the color orange? Um, so it looks really good on me, so I wear it, but I actually don't like it as a color. Like I will wear, sometimes I will wear colors I don't like because I know they look good on me, but I don't necessarily like them. But I, I draw the line for that. So like, I don't like wearing the color brown. Like it's very rare you'll see me wear it, even though it looks good on me. Why so shiny? Um, because I just got done cooking and it's a lot of hard work. You would know that if you ever cooked a meal in your fucking life. Like, you you know, you know, they're not genuinely asking. You know they're coming in my chat asking, why am I shiny to try to make me feel self-conscious? Like, oh, are you like dirty or something? Are you like dirty? It's like literally, I washed my face. I oil blotted before I went on stream. It doesn't matter. I did, like, that's just how my skin is. Philip Huygen, two dollars. Badass Brits Bimbo Bistro. That's a nice one. But a bit of a little bit of a bit Because of one smart ass in my chat's comment, we're going to go ahead and do an oil removing tutorial. So you're going to get yourself one of these. It's an oil of water. And you're going to dab it on your skin, press down, and then you take it off. See that? There's hardly anything on it because it's not oil. It's just how my skin is. Got like the one drop of oil off. Literally oil blotted before the stream and it's not enough, it's not good enough. All right, you're gonna go under your eyes, on your chin, on your nose, and up your ass where everyone is there. Whole fucking audience up my ass telling me, oh, why is your face shiny? Brian J, thank you for the $20. I think that was a super chat, yeah. Thank you. Mids here, Alpha 1999 super chat. Allergies do suck, but the necessity to do a non-normie diet will be a net positive long-term for you and your future family. Yeah, it is. It's a double-edged sword. Uh, I would prefer not to be allergic, but you know, it forced me to be healthy. Philip Huygen, um, I already read that. Badass Fritz Bimbo Bit Bistro. Let's see. $5 super chat from Austin Kaser. You should buy 100 ears of corn and challenge your allergy to the death. El Cid Barrett, 10 Canadian dollars. Oh yeah, the cricket thing. Ugh, it's so annoying. Um, did I get everything? I hate how the camera is just like uneven no matter what I do. I think that was all of them. I think I read all of them. Two dollar super chat from Nvidia. You're a radiant clean, queen and chat's just jealous. You guys are jealous of a star that shines. For a cap for donation it should be like ten dollars. Why? Because you're poor. Steve Orange, is that why? You're jealous? You jealous that you can't you can't simp the creators you like? Are you jealous, Steve? You have a green name, it's not good enough. I can't believe they sell papers for people with shiny skin. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, it's also annoying when you put sunscreen on, which I do, I put it on every day. It's annoying that it makes your skin shiny. 
it's like, okay, you're either going to have skin that's going to get called greasy or you're going to have wrinkles. Blue Stary uh, says, you're very beautiful. Thank you. No lie. Brian J, thank you for the $20 super chat. I think I already thanked you for that. I don't know if I did it in my head or out loud. Okay. All right. I think I'm done complaining for today. There, now I'm not oily. So much easier being a guy. I hate having to project my voice. I feel like my voice is breaking every time I have to like scream at you guys or raise my voice. Like, I just wanna talk at my normal tone. Like, okay, I'm gonna talk at my normal tone for the rest of the stream because like I'm tired of yelling. Cause I can't tell like when you guys can hear me or when you can't hear me. So that's why. But yeah, I'm gonna talk my normal tone, my normal speaking voice and just like hope that you guys can hear it because I get tired of yelling into the mic. You have perfect skin naturally? Yeah, it's because you're a guy. Women have fucked up hormones that change by the week, by the day. Or like the moon. We can only hear the yelling. Yeah, it's true. Men can only hear when you scream at them. Anyway, I think I'm done here. I hope you guys can make a great chicken pesto without fucking it up. And I don't know when I'll stream again. Um, I've been focusing mostly on videos and I've been posting a lot. Uh, I post a new video on the second channel, Saturday Supermodel. And I was planning on doing another one, but then my phone died middle of recording. So then I was like, I'll just cook instead. And hence why we're here. So. I'll do more cooking streams in the future and I will um, be making more videos for the second channel, Saturday Supermodel. So go subscribe to that and keep an eye out and check out my Patreon if you wanna join the community Discord and continue the chat offline. If you enjoyed the live stream chat, you will probably enjoy the Discord. So patreon.com slash and Oh yeah, Bimbo merch is back out. If you want Bimbo merch, go buy it. It's on Griff Shop. The Venti X Griff Shop collab. Um, the link is on Discord, on Twitter, on my side channel, etc. It's griffshop.com slash, hold on, slash collection slash Venti. If you just go to griff.shop, you could just click it and it says Venti. You could buy this merch. The bimbo merch those are crop tops and there's a mug so focusing on the second channel so i appreciate the support especially the patrons because I, I can't even get ad rev on there like literally i can't get ad rev yet because it's too new of a channel and i won't be able to probably for some time so i do appreciate the support anyway have a good night guys um maybe some of you should stay away from the kitchen